you know, many people say they can't believe they get paid to do the job they do. I kind of feel the same way. I love what I do. I love being able to help that person deal with a very challenging situation. So to me, I just, when I get into work, you know, I, sp I spend the first hour or so taking care of a bunch of, you know, paper signing and different dictation stuff I got to catch up on. But when I hit that clinic, I hit it running because I'm looking forward to meeting the next person really helping them with the challenge. And I also look forward, you know, it depends on the patient I'm seeing too. If I'm seeing someone for a follow-up, I want to see how they're doing. You know, most of, you know, we have, in our field, we're allowed to develop a very close relationship with our patients, which in most other walks of life, you're not. And so you look upon them as a very, very close friend. And you take it personally when they don't do well. You take it personally when they do well. And, it, you know, it's, it's a very special moment. And, you know, it often starts when you walk in that room for a follow-up patient, giving them a hug and going, you know what, how are you doing? And, you know, trying to not just figure out, you know, don't, not just look at the MRI or the PET-CT scan or the latest biopsy, just kind of emotionally how they're doing. And that brings a lot of satisfaction gratification to me. I enjoy that moment. You know, hopefully it's a good visit. In some cases, it's not. But again, the same challenges then exist. You know, okay, what are we going to do? We now have this new information. How are we going to tackle this? How are we going to deal with this? And how are we going to get you a better place than you are right this moment?